Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today, I'm just doing a quick video to discuss some of the latest news pertaining to the iOS 12 jailbreak scene. So first and foremost, before we get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button like always and check the first link down below in this video's description for a dynamic and always up to date link for the latest jailbreaking news. All right, let's get into today's video. Well, primarily I wanted to make today's video discussing the potential of a new iOS 12 jailbreak. Now for the past few weeks, there've been some major breakthroughs in the jailbreak scene for iOS 12. There's been a number of iOS 12 untethered jailbreak demos, specifically one from Pengu themselves. There's been numerous developers working on iOS 12 exploits and 11.4.1 exploits for that matter. We'll get into 11.4.1 at the beginning of this video and then move on to the iOS 12 jailbreak news. So first up, before we get too far in today's video, I just wanted to remind everyone that iOS 11.4.1 is still being signed by Apple. And if you guys recall from one of our latest videos, iOS 11.4.1 may soon be receiving new exploits directly from Ian Beer, which as you guys know, he's the main developer who is responsible for the iOS 11 jailbreak's main exploits. A new jailbreak utility for iOS 11 could very quickly quickly be released after these exploits are then released. So I just wanted to remind everyone that 11.4.1 is still available for download and installation. Now again, like I discussed in the comments section of one of my last videos, I really can't suggest to update to iOS 12 and or downgrade to 11.4.1. Ultimately, the choice is up to you because right now, there's not a clear indication whether a jailbreak for iOS 12 or iOS 11.4.1 is going to come first. Either could happen in my opinion. Now, if I will put my two cents in, I personally am remaining on iOS 11.4.1 as I always have the option to then upgrade to iOS 12 if the status of that jailbreak changes. But 11.4.1 is still being signed if you guys are on iOS 12 and want to make the decision to downgrade. I actually have a tutorial on how to do that process, a step-by-step -step walkthrough guide for you guys easily to do that if you're interested. Anyway, I'll link that down below in the description of this video and in your cards now as well. But for now, I'm excited and hopeful to see the new exploits that are soon to come by Ian Beer and see exactly what Coolstar has in store for us for an update to Electra. And speaking of Coolstar and updates, we still have Celio in the background that could be updated for iOS 11.3.1. Again, that's a new package installer that is expected to replace Cydia entirely, providing jailbreak users with a more streamlined and modern package installer experience. Again, all the updates to the 11.3.1 jailbreak presumably will work on 11.4.1 when a jailbreak utility is released and updated for that firmware, which like I've been saying throughout the entirety of this video, is looking like that's going to happen sooner than later. Before an iOS 12 jailbreak, again, no one knows. So in regards to Celio, the developers tweeted this out saying, we're happy to announce that the dynastic repo has full support for Celio's icons and native descriptions. And then it looks like they included these awesome screenshots, again, giving us a preview of what Celio is going to look like once it's released. Again, the dynastic repo now is going to have official support and looks like it's going to be one of the default repositories or sources that's included with it. But that's really the only update we have since my last video on Celio. Looks like progress has been delayed a little bit on its release, but again, that's still in the background for 11.3.1. I bring this up as this very could easily and soon be ported to iOS 11.4.1 for all the users that have updated to that firmware. All right, so let's get into the main portion of today's video, summarizing up some of our latest videos pertaining to iOS 12 and the jailbreak scene surrounding that. Now, probably the biggest news that everyone needs to know, and that's been the latest developments within that scene, is that iOS 12 has been jailbroken, demos have been performed, but the latest one was directly from the Pangu jailbreak team, who's commonly known for jailbreaking iOS 7 to iOS 9. Now, they not only did this on iOS 12, but they did this jailbreak on the iPhone XS. 
proving that those new devices, being the 10s, the 10s Max, and the 10R, can all be jailbroken with their new enhanced security on the A12 Bionic chip. And we actually have a full video dedicated to this if you want to know more information about this. Again, this video today is really just summarizing all the bits and pieces of information that we've received over the past couple of weeks. Again, there's a ton of stuff covered in today's video. If you want more information about it, definitely check out our previous ones as we go into depth on all of the topics covered in today's video. Now, along with Pangu's jailbreak demonstration, Minspark Zhang also tweeted out this information about his own iOS 12 untethered jailbreak, which is just insane that this is possible. Again, these two demos so far are probably never going to be released to the public, but it just proves that a iOS 12 can be jailbroken, an untethered jailbreak can be accomplished at that matter, and then Pangu's latest news, like I said, proves that the latest iPhone XS can be jailbroken as well on the latest flagship firmware being iOS 12. So along with jailbreak demonstrations, we also have developers working on public exploits for the iOS 12 jailbreak community. But again, like I said for right now, I personally would remain on the lowest possible firmware being iOS 11.4 or below. If you're on 11.3.1 and jailbroken or on any iOS version and jailbroken right now, I would just stay there and wait for future developments on when some of these exploits that have been promised are actually released to the public. Because really at this stage, it's all just circulating news and information. There's no concrete definitive answer as to when a jailbreak utility might be coming or if one is even going to be coming. But if history repeats itself, jailbreaking will thrive, especially with iOS 12 and with how stable it is especially on the new iPhone XS Max on the 6.5 inch OLED display. That is just going to be an incredible device to tweak and modify. Along with iOS 12, like I said, iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 are also being heavily targeted by third-party developers in the jailbreak community to exploit and create a new utility for that as well. But one main developer from Google's own Project Zero, which you guys will obviously know his name being Ian Beer, like I said, is not only targeting iOS 12, but also is soon to be expected to be releasing iOS 11.4.1 exploits. So it looks like his work is already done there and ETA hasn't been released but he said it's coming very soon and then he's going to solely focus on exploiting iOS 12. Now with developers like that we'll always have a delay or a lag time between when he finds his vulnerabilities and releases his research to the public. It's the 90 day disclosure clause through Apple in order for them to patch it and release an update to the general public before those vulnerabilities are ever disclosed to the public and exploits are created for them. But it's great to know in the background, very worst case, exploits are coming and we have prominent and trustworthy developers on the scene putting hard work in developing those. Now, I apologize, this video is going in circles between iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 12, and that's because there have been so many demos and so many noteworthy pieces of information regarding an iOS 12 jailbreak and iOS 12 being pwned and hacked, but we've really yet to see anything concrete or anything released to the public for me to advise you guys to update to iOS 12. So that's why as of right now, an iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak is in my opinion looking more likely to happen first. But that being said, there's so many developers on the scene targeting iOS 12, it's going to be major headlines if anything is released for that firmware, where in contrast, if a jailbreak was released for iOS 11.4.1, in just a few days here, that's not going to be signed, and it's not going to apply to the majority of iOS users. So that's where the big conflict is coming into play. Yes, an iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 jailbreak would be awesome, but if a new developer really wanted to make some waves within the community, they would release one for iOS 12. Now. Speaking of iOS 12, there are still a few bugs 
even in the public release. I am shocked we have yet to receive an iOS 12 update like 12.0.1. Yes, there is an iOS 12.1 beta in the works. It's just beta 1 as well. There has yet to be a secondary update for that firmware, so we could be seeing something along those lines be released very soon. As if you guys remember, last week we did a video about crashing any iPhone with this Safari bug exploit right here. Really, it's harmless, but it just proves that bugs persist, and this can be performed on the public released version of iOS 12. So there are still security flaws. As you guys can see, there have been multiple jailbreak demos. It is possible, and right now, it's just a big waiting game to see any new developments or if a jailbreak is going to come for iOS 12 in the near future. Anyway guys, just wanted to make today's video to put everything into perspective and really just remind everyone how much progress has been made literally within the last two weeks since iOS 12 was released. Again, also stay tuned for future updates about iOS 11.4.1 as I know many users out there are on those firmwares. They missed out on the 11.3.1 .1 jailbreak and I'll keep you guys updated if any updates come out with that as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know down below if you guys are on iOS 11.4, 11.4.1, waiting for a jailbreak there, or if you guys took the plunge and updated to iOS 12 and are hopeful for a jailbreak for that firmware. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.